In this video, I explain why I use XSplit in video calls on platforms like Google Meet and Google Duo to help share content with my family and make my D&D sessions more professional. I spend a lot of time on video calls with my family and friends, not only because of the pandemic, but also as an expat Brit living in Canada, it's the best way to speak to my mum every day. I'm also a keen Dungeons and Dragons player and dungeon master. With the advent of the pandemic, I haven't been able to get together with my weekly group face to face in a while. I use Google Duo on web to connect to my mum's Google Nest Hub Max in the UK, and I use Google Meet on my business account for my D&D sessions because of the hour limit on free Google Meet accounts. For my personal calls with my mother, using XSplit gives me the chance to walk through photos of the grandkids and other personal memories to keep her updated. Plus, sometimes we have long discussions about current affairs and entertainment news and want to look up details while we're talking. With XSplit, I'm able to seamlessly transition between my webcam for chatting or sharing browser windows with photos or Google searches, moving my webcam feed to be picture in picture. It creates a much more personal experience for my octogenarian mother. In my recent video, I explain how I use Dungeon Alchemist to build 3D maps and use Roll20 to run my campaigns for my players. One of the limitations right now is that you can't share Dungeon Alchemist 3D maps with players through Roll20. So with XSplit, I'm able to concurrently run both programs for my players and switch between the two on the fly. Seeing the maps in 3D helps add extra context and adds depth to the campaign and plot for my players. If you're not already familiar with using XSplit, here's a quick overview. XSplit is a live streaming and video mixing application for Windows and Mac OS. It's primarily used for streaming using services like Twitch. There's also a free open source alternative to XSplit called OBS. The simplest description of what XSplit does is that it combines multiple video and audio inputs to create a single output. Video inputs include things like your webcam, selected browser tabs, video games, or even your whole desktop. Audio can include microphones, system sounds, and music. You can arrange the inputs by laying them out in order by creating a scene in XSplit. Then, as you add each input, you can resize, move, and reorder them in layers to match your desired design. One important consideration for video calls is I have an ultra-wide monitor, so for me, when I share my desktop or browser window, I resize it to the max resolution for the video call. For instance, Google Nest Duo has a maximum resolution of 720p, so streaming in a higher resolution than 720p is a waste of bandwidth and CPU cycles. At the top right-hand corner of XSplit, you can adjust the resolution and frame rate to optimize your settings. For my own personal setup, I use Google Duo on the web for my daily call with my mum. I've created two scenes for us to use. The first is my webcam feed for when we're just chatting. However, I've also included an extra widget which displays the current weather in real time. My mum is always keen to discover what the weather is like for me here in Canada. Now she has a quick reference on every call. To create your own weather widget, first register an account on openweathermap.org and follow the instructions to generate an API key. Then, using the key in Simple Weather Overlay, you can customize a widget. Then copy and paste the URL, and then add it as a new input on XSplit. You can then resize and move the widget around the screen to fit. I've put the links to both in the description below. Then my second scene is the one that shows the video feed of my face using my Lumina webcam picture-in-picture -picture over a web browser. One very useful tool I use is Windows Resizer for Google Chrome. This is an extension that enables me to quickly resize my browser to one of the standard resolutions. For my D&D sessions, as well as the webcam feed, I've also set up a scene to show Dungeon Alchemist and a picture-in-picture -picture feed from my Lumina webcam. My second scene shows Roll20 and my Lumina webcam feed. One important note for using Roll20 in this manner is to create a fake player account. Add it to the campaign that you're running and then stream that account so that your players don't see all the secret Dungeon Master behind the scenes secrets. One final tip is to remember to turn off the AI background effects in Google Meet. Your video feed will appear blurry and it was only after troubleshooting with my players I was able to figure out what was going on. The final step is then to choose XSplit as your video output on Google Duo or Google Meet and you're ready to go. I hope my quick walkthrough of using XSplit for video calls was useful for some. Anyone using OBS should hopefully be able to translate the same steps easily to their own setup too. Thanks for watching and as always please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.